Question 1. Is the rhythm fast, slow, or normal speed, and it's normal with a heart rate of 100? Question 2. Is there an upright P wave in lead 2? And there is. This means our patient is in sinus rhythm, and that's normal. Does a P wave coincide with every QRS complex? And it does. This is also normal. This means our patient is not in a heart block. Is the QRS complex narrow or wide? And it is narrow, which is normal. This means the energy is moving through the heart in the normal electrical conduction pathway. Is the rhythm regular or irregular? And it is regular, which is normal. Question six, is there ST elevation or ST depression in two or more contiguous leads? We begin in leads two, three, AVF because we always begin there. And we see ST elevation in these three contiguous leads. This means our patient has an acute inferior wall infarct. We then go to leads V1, V2, V3, V4, our anterior septal leads, and we see significant ST depression here. Of note is in lead V2, there is deep ST depression, which means an acute posterior wall infarct. We then go to our lateral leads, lead V5 and V6. There is ST depression in lead V5, but not in V6. We then go to our high lateral leads, lead 1 and AVL, and we see some ST depression in lead 1, specifically uh, a lot more ST depression in lead AVL, and that would be the reciprocal change to our inferior wall infarct. Conclusion, this is an acute inferior posterior wall infarct.